well, check it out. I got a choo-choo train in my garage. So, there happens to be a mystery going on here because... What the hell is that? I don't know what that is. It looks like the back half. But everything is locked into place where it's supposed to be. You know, and, and this is where the plywood would be. You know? Plywood would lay on the shelf. But there's... And that shows the back of it with the taillights. But maybe a setup for bunk beds? I don't know. This is kind of... Kind of... I don't know. I don't think this goes on top. It doesn't seem to make any sense. Does it go this way? No, that looks stupid as all hell. Yeah, I'm going to have to ask the guy. Said, Did you have two of these? Maybe he's got two bunk beds. I don't know. So I have to clean it up. And you can see like the, the train wheels on the side. If the dogs get out of the way. So. You know what's going to be the problem with this? <laughs> Seeing over the front. You know, the kids are going to get in here and drive it, and you're going to be like this. I can't see where I'm going. That could be an issue. That may be a big issue, if you ask me. Uh, geez, I don't know. I don't know now, seeing the size of it. I didn't remember it being this big, but... Uh, well, we'll have to see what's going on. This has got a little bit of a bow out to it, but I can easily pull that in. But, yeah, that blue piece back there has got me kind of baffled. Unless you can, now you can't switch it up for the front because the front's got holes. So what you do is you got a peg that goes up in the front and then you, you take the bottom, then you swing the bottom in. So all I have to do pretty much is just put like a screw here and a screw here. Just so this can't swing out. But it'll all be braced with steel anyways. But I could probably take this off. You know. I don't know. Make it into a four-seater go-kart. Well, this is up in the air for a minute. So I got to... Got some thinking to do on this one. Because in order to see over that stupid stack, you're going to have to be up in the air pretty good. Hey, spit it out. Always plastic. Alright. Yeah, it's got a hood here too. Got a little storage box. It's all dirty. I just blew it out with the air. All this stuff was full of water. I had to drill a hole in the corner to get the water out. But I'll probably stick a hinge on that. You know, I don't know if this has to be pulled back in or not. I don't know. I'll have to talk to him and ask him, what the hell's that other piece for? I mean, it can't be, it can't be a roof. Or could it be a roof? I don't know. It could have like maybe like a little roof over the back of it. Gee, I don't know. But these holes here, yeah, let's see. Yeah, those are the ones, because if I went to these holes, it would be wider. I don't know. I don't know what the hell this thing is. But, we got you. You would think it's like the front end of a car or something. I, I have no clue. I'm sure it doesn't go up there. I don't know. I'll have to ask him. Say, hey, what the hell's this thing for? I could put it on my car for a new grill. Anyway, so there's that. Now I'm seeing a few issues that I didn't think of. You know, is height. And uh, that could be a problem. Oh, well. Wait a minute. 
Oh, wait a minute. That's got screw marks in it. There, it's got screw marks there. So what the hell was in here? That says left and that says right. Okay, so I'm missing something. Yeah, there's something missing on this. I'll have to ask him. Okay, I'll catch everybody later. I got Mr. Cleaner running next door. I got, uh, go! I got, um, got all this done. So my new wall's all done. And, uh, like that. So, I just brought the thermostat out. It's warmer than what it's reading, because that was out in the other part of the garage, but. So, I got more place storage. All right, everybody. Have a good one. And I'll catch you later. Come on, dum dum. Come on. Ow. Ow. Come on. Get out here. Come here. Move. You're a you fuzzy little dick. There. I got to close it because I don't want that going back in there. Okay. For me and the fuzzy little dicks, I'll catch you later.